My name is Mohan Ember, and um, I live in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and the name of my entry is Chip I, I, I develop in Java, this is Eclipse, um, mm -hmm. running in Java, and I have a Macintosh just because I happen to have a Macintosh. Hi, I'm Rolly Carpenter. My program is called Cleverbot, currently a database of more than 20 million conversational uh, utterances by people. I'm David Levy and I'm here with uh, my program, which is a chatbot program. I participated in 1997 when I won the competition. Last yeah. year, the com competition was held in the uh, um, University of Reading. Mm -hmm. The uh, total interaction time was five minutes, two and a half minutes with a computer and two and a half minutes with the, with the human, which isn't enough time to have an intelligent conversation. This year, keeping with uh, Turing's prediction that after a five-minute interaction, the uh, human would have a, the computer would have a 70% chance of fooling the judge, I've <clears throat> set the program and the rounds up. So... <clears throat> that the uh, judge will interact for five minutes with the left entity and five minutes with the right entity where the left and right are human and computer determined randomly. What are your expectations of this year contest? Uh, somebody will win it. <laughs> I have no idea. I don't think anybody will judge. I don't think any of the uh, programs will be judged as human. Uh, the technology, I'm afraid to say, is not very far advanced. I'd just like to introduce and explain a little bit about the competition and what the procedure is going to be and what you are going to be able to see. So just to explain how the competition is going to work, each, each judge on our judges table is going to be communicating with two entities, one human and one program, and they have a five minute dialogue with each of those two entities. There are no restrictions at all on the content of the conversation, the content of the dialogue, um, what they say, how they say it, um, etc. And at the end, we allow 10 minutes for the judges to review the conversations and come to some decision about which one they believe was the human and which one was the computer program in that round. We have a little bit of a reorganization within it, between the rounds where we ask the judges to take different seats and our human subjects to move around so we've got different uh, combinations, all the different combinations um, running. So then at the end when we have the decisions in from the judges' scorecards, we will bring them in here together, um, we'll tot up which ones have been determined correctly or incorrectly to find out which of the programs here is the most convincing impersonator of a human and the result of that will lead to the winner of today's um, bronze Lerber medal, um, the prize of $3,000. The first round will involve uh, Judge 1 interacting um, with Entity 1 and Confederate 1. This, the left, lower left window have to start typing. After you start typing, one hopes that there'll be a response. Right. And the Six, five, four, three, two, one. I'm on. Hello. That's a good start. That should be interesting. Ooh, what else? <laughs> Ooh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven,
the other entity. Well, one more question. Well, no, it's just one more interesting area. So then let us come to the announcement of the, on the rankings on the right hand side, um, show that there were um, no ambiguities between the programs and computers detected, but from the ranking here where a rank of one is most human, we can see that program two is in fact the winner. And therefore um, David Levy's entry is the winner of the 2009 <laughs> Say a few words about Hugh because um, I first met Hugh in 1997 when I competed once before um, and was successful. And I felt that Hugh has done a great service to artificial intelligence and to computational linguistics by starting this competition and supporting it for many years. Because one of the things about these competitions is that the contestants and others in the field. After the competition, they go away and they look at what's wrong with their program. They come up with new ideas and they improve their programs for next year. Which means that the competition itself pushes forward the um, level of performance of the best programs. So then the uh, results here show also the identification of the humans. And from the ranking list, we can see that uh, Confederate won, which is Brian Christian was the most human. Congratulations. This is certainly the strangest award that I've ever won. <laughs> <laughs> The conference is going to be held in uh, California State University in Los Angeles. I think it's going to be October 23rd. It's a Saturday. Okay. Sunday. Sunday. Saturday. Whatever.